for it. Well, a warm welcome indeed to Lake Norrin versus Doncaster Rovers here at the Matchroom Stadium, Brisbane Road. A game which is vitally important to Lake Norrin. Doncaster themselves see the prospect of uh, professional full-time football slipping away from them in the Nationwide League as the weeks go by. But they've got players that are looking for contracts, looking for their future, wherever that may be. We wish them well, but obviously after today's game. Today's lineups as follows. For the O's in goal is Paul Hyde. Two, Justin Channing. Three, Dominic Naylor. Four, Dean Smith. 5, Stuart Hicks, 6, Simon Clark, 7, Martin Ling, 8, Roger Joseph, 9, Carl Griffiths, 10, Tony Richards, and 11 is Alex Inglethorpe. Doncaster Rovers in goal is Gary Hoggeth, 2, Steve Sanders, 3, Mike Smith, 4, Mark Hawthorne, 5, Ian Gore, 6, A.D. Mike, 7 is Darren Estial, 8 is Lee Warren, 9 is Ian Helliwell, 10, Prince Moncrief, 11, Jim Dobbin. And today's substitutes are as follows for the O's. Jason Harris, Joe Baker and Colin Simpson were at 12, 13 and 14. And for Doncaster, Martin Pemberton, John Ramsey and Gary Messer were likewise. Today's officials, Mr John Bramwood is the referee. And these are two assistants are Mr S. Uh, Chittenden and Mr S. C. Head. And uh, the standby official, Mr S. A. Taylor. And my name is Steve Jenkins. I'm Joe and now to your match commentator, Andy Gilson. Well, thank you, Steve. Doncaster looking to end an abysmal year for them on a, a rarity, a win. And Orion looking to get back on tracks after their recent improved results came to a drastic end at the hands of their manager's former club, Cambridge United. And uh, Steve, you saw that match between uh, Late Nine and Cambridge and a disappointing affair for the Orion. Well, certainly a disappointing outcome. Orion started very brightly. Colin Simpson had certainly had two uh, chances, which... Uh, Maybe uh, one of them could have gone in, but uh, that's all history now. They did seem to lose their way, the O's, maybe because Cambridge scored a very early goal in the second half after 47 minutes. And after that goal, Cambridge's confidence did rise quite a bit. They themselves have been uh, in the middle of a very bad run at the time, and uh, really they were relieved to get anything out of that game. And Orient really came away with a, a game with nothing, where really a, a point was uh, the least I was hoping to come away with. So but that's in the past. Today is the ideal chance for them to get back into winning ways and also to score goals in abundance. The main thing is to get the result and take it from there. Well, Ian Gore down there, the Doncaster skipper with his uh, counterpart Dominic Naylor from uh, Leighton Orient. Uh, Pre-match preliminaries almost done with. Well, uh, as we said, Orient's uh, recent improved uh, form has come to a, an end. They've now got to pick it up again, and this, as Steve said, an ideal opportunity. All due respects to Doncaster, but they have been the whipping boys for the entirety of the campaign, and... Uh, Really, it's a matter, one would think, of how many they would let in. But uh, having said that, Steve, uh, Orion went down here to Hendon in the FA Cup, so anything's possible. Not only that, Doncaster have got to come at Orient. A point is no good to them at all, so it should be a very open game, Andy. Well, that's it. That's, uh, I'm quite impressed with the fact that over 100 supporters have come from Doncaster. They are well adrift in the Football League, and there's still uh, 100 or so brave hearts who've made it down possibly becoming a pilgrimage as their last season in the Football League for the time being because it does look as if uh, barring a massive transformation in the new year they are going to be in the optional conference next time round but uh, Brighton were in a similar position it must be said this time last year and uh, saved themselves so uh, anything is possible but they really do need to put five or six wins on the spin together to give themselves a chance so it's Orion then to be kicking off playing from right to left as we look, Martin Ling standing over this with uh, Dean Smith. And uh, referee just wanting uh, the players in the right house. And once again we get things underway. Ling straight away then to Channing. And the long ball forward. That's uh, cut out oh, there. Oh dear, oh dear. It should have been cut out by Hawthorne. It's uh, given away for a corner after just uh, 15 seconds or so. And it really was... Uh, a pretty straightforward head of that, but uh, this is an early unforced pressure for Dunkers to deal with. The first corner of the match then. So Neela standing over this one. Swings it in there. It looks like a free header. Oh, off the line. It's right across there. And just away in time. That looks to be a foul, actually. I thought as it's... Uh, 
an early scare that for Doncaster, but a free kick given to them. My goodness me, that was close to an opening goal in the very first minute. And all from that dreadful header from Mark Hawthorne. But to some respite for Doncaster now, they have this free kick. Well, that would have been their worst nightmares realised at Doncaster to have conceded a goal inside, what, 40 seconds or so. That's chip forward. Oh, well, there's a chance at the other end, though. Doncaster could be in here, but it's taken away from the foot of Moncrief. But only cleared as far as Warren. Warren with the cross. That's a knockdown. Now, Mike with a... Bad cross, it goes behind. So first touch for Hyde of this goal kick, which is not a good one, it must be said. And a speculative effort, but uh, Prince Moncrief's effort way over the bar. <laughs> so Hyde will try again. So Hyde clears. Oh. That looks to be a foul. Indeed it was. By Micah. Smith swings that one down. And that will be an Orient throw. Just down to our left as we look. Naylor. Chance for the cross there from oh. Richards and it goes right across the box. And we'll go for the Doncaster throw, will it? No, it goes Orient's way. Throw taken quickly, in then towards Griffiths. Channing, round one challenge, and I thought he may well have been tripped there, but uh, the throw's been given. So this time the throw left for Tony Richards back in the side after a lengthy layoff that's a better header this time from uh, Hawthorne oh. Channing oh, nice little dummy twice just couldn't wriggle his way through Finally, stabbed clear. Oops, a bad mistake there. And Ling caught a nasty boot on his toes. Joseph with a ball forward and uh, headed away again by Hawthorne. This is Smith. Well, I found a bit of time with that pass for Dominic Naylor. Joseph. Well, there were appeals for offside there. <coughs> Clark's header. This is Hicks. Channing. Well, that's a rather loose pass, that by Channing. Offside. Offside this time against Moncrief. Naylor. That's a better flick. And put away for the throw down to our left by the foot there of Hawthorne. Five minutes gone. No score here at Brisbane Road. Well, the whistle's gone. Big cry, you may have picked it up there on the microphones from uh, Stuart Hicks. Keep the tempo up. Well, I think the linesman, Steve Shirley, could have just walked on and kicked I know, that back. I know, Andy. I tell you, it winds me up so many times. They try, 
they say that the officials are sort of impartial now, but really for the sake of sanity there, the linesman could have just sort of tapped the ball over, couldn't he, eh? Too much to ask, Steve. <laughs> Honestly. It's rather uh, pedantic and feeble, wasn't it, to say the least? But uh, that looked like handball. Well, uh, the benefit of the doubt goes uh, Lee Warren's way. And once again, uh, Prince Moncrief is offside and uh, remonstrating there with the linesman. And I think uh, Mr. Bramwood's just having a word. And he's still uh, shouting at the linesman. That's just too high then for uh, Clark. Goal kick given. Almost in play, the referee was saying. There we go, there. Here we go, here we are. Well, it's going to be an unnecessary booking, I think. Uh, Ian Gore being spoken to. Well, he may get away with a, a lengthy chat here from uh, Mr. Bramwood. But the ball was in play, as uh, Steve was saying. That was quite a fair challenge. And uh, Tony Richards did take the ball. So, uh, Hoggeth with the goal kick then. That falls for Naylor. That'll go out of play, though. Disappointing ball that from Naylor. Well, certainly taking their time over this throw, Donkers, to try to slow things down a little. That's off of Joseph, will go for the Donkers to throw. Well, Doncaster have got their deck chairs and Sunday papers out at the moment. They're in no hurry to do anything. Oh, oh. That was a, a trip, I would have thought, exactly, on uh, Griffiths there. That's uh, off of the head of Sanders. And a throw taken quickly up towards Griffiths. And that's going to be a corner if it goes. Yes, it is. Well, uh, Griffiths put pressure on Ian Gore there. The Doncaster skipper and forced the corner. So an Orient corner. Ling to take this one. Strong in near post, and it's a real chance. Goal kick. That came off of the head of Inglethorpe, I think. Well, early pressure this on Doncaster, Steve, but um, so far they've ridden it well. Yeah, apart from that effort which hit the post, uh, or still, 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 we get to test the keeper to any great degree, but certainly they can count themselves unlucky with that effort, which uh, they almost got in the first uh, few seconds of the game. But I think the Orient have got to realise they mustn't go uh, gung-ho and try and get goals very early on. It's almost like a cup tie here. But they really have got to take their time and just do a professional job. Oh, oh that's a mistake. Pressure on the keeper there. A hurried clearance by Hoggett. And the ball's falling tiny there for Orient. Oh, dear. Well, they've got themselves out of trouble somehow. Once again, Prince Moncrief is offside. Three offsides against the same player. He's got to start uh, reading his line, Prince Moncrief. That will, but, uh... Nice lobbed into the box. Goals header, not a good one. Oh. Well, uh... I don't know so much. Free kick has been given, has it? It depends when the ball was made contact with Andy. We couldn't see from our side, could we? He may have caught uh, Channing before he played the ball. <laughs> well, a free kick's been given. No real complaints, so... Uh, Neela swings this one in there. This could be a free header, but it's put away this time by Micah for the corner on this near side. Corner 
Jones comes over, headed away again. Well, a lot of pressure on Doncaster at the moment. Got to be patient, Orion. That comes over again. We'll have to settle for the throw this time. Well, that's uh, another pulled cross. Ling touched back to Joseph. They play it across now to Channing. It's over hit. And it's turned back to Hyde. Now a lot of room here and space for uh, Stuart Hicks to work this. Oops, that's not a good pass by Hicks. Drilled that low across the floor, away for the Donkers to throw then, just below us in this West Side Stand uh, commentary box. So Micah. Well, the flag stayed down. Now that looks suspiciously close. Channing. Well, oh, that's a good run by Englethorpe, who's onside. Can he finish? Oh, that's a penalty. No, says the referee. Well, that looked, Steve, as if he took the player, not the ball. I, I can't understand that. That was a blatant one, but it was right in front of the referee. Give him the benefit, Andy, unfortunately, on that one. Well, I didn't see any contact with the ball whatsoever. Certainly can, Steve. Uh, for my money, that was a penalty, but uh, Doncaster live on, and uh, that ball's play forward towards Moncrief, can out by Hicks. Now, what uh, bearing will they have on the match? One wonders. So it's brought down by Gore. One must say, though, Steve, the only thing, uh, there was no real complaints from the Orient players. I've got to agree with you there, Andy. Certainly wasn't a complaint at all. That, that was shocked. That's <laughs> 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 a move in there, Florian. That's into... Ling, who gets an early cross in there, it's a real chance, oh, and it really should have been put away. That really should have been buried there from uh, the foot of Griffiths. In fact, if he got his head to it, Steve, one yeah, wonders. Yeah, I thought he should have headed it, but there again, it's easy from up here, Andy. Well, we couldn't head it from up here, but uh, not only that, Inglethorpe was right behind Griffiths as well, so maybe Inglethorpe should have called for it. Maybe he did, we don't know. Well, the chances are beginning to clock up here for the home side. As yet, none of them converted. That's a foul by Hicks. But that's a good four or five chances now that have uh, gone begging for Orient. That's a poor pass, isn't it? Smith picks it up for the home side then. Not a lot in front of him, it must be said. And uh, got about the only result he could get, a throw midway inside that Doncaster half. 15, 15 minutes gone on the clock. Uh, That's a foul. So Hoggith will take the free kick himself. Joseph finds Channing. Well, once again, uh, the header away was by uh, Hawthorne. 
sempre, eh? Uh, Sawthorn plays it forward again. So Channing with the throw then. Match just going through a quiet phase. Now a little turn there from Dobbin. And it's a poor pass. It'll be through to Paul Hyde in the Orient goal then. Quick clearance downfield from him. Looks towards Griffiths. Oh, and last time the ball just went out of play, didn't it? But uh, I think, uh, Steve, that um, Griffiths has got the right idea there because Hawthorne does look very uncertain, doesn't he? I think both Doncaster fullbacks look uncertain and Orient have gained quite a bit of... Uh, uh, advantage by their hassle in their defenders have gained corners certainly in a few set pieces they've got to continue that way without getting too panicky this is a league game after all just plug away a win's a win we just settle for one nil behind it's convincing and get a good professional job done today this is clark that's a nice looking pass up towards ling who let it run oh dear. Well, that's short for the keeper oh, who did well in fact for uh, gary hoggett in the donkers to go sold very short indeed with that pass I think Steve had he stayed uh, back the keeper that was the uh, curtains that's Clark that's a cross over there from Neela oh that was handball most certainly and uh, they got away with that ball up towards Moncrief is over hit an easy one this for the keeper trails it back downfield well, it's going to be offside so the free kick played forward by Hawthorne. Channing. Offside this time against uh, Richards. Plays on this time. Oops, mistake there by Joseph, and he's going to concede a corner. And uh, an almost celebratory wave of the arm, it seems, from Prince Moncrief there, that he's gained a corner, Steve. Well, they are rare at the moment, as we all know. Certainly the Doncaster fans have, have uh, applauded that uh, decision, and uh, it's important that Orient do stem any further efforts on goal. So the corner comes over. That's a good claim from uh, Paul Hyde. And a quick throw out. Channing. That's nicely done. Smith. Oh, and uh, just a bit loose that. Oh, that's given away badly. No side. Oh, he took it too wide. That's a goal. In the end, it got in there. But for goodness sakes, Alex Singlethorpe took an eternity, didn't he? Carl Griffiths gets his name back on the score sheet. Orion's first effort on target. It's Orion 1, Doncaster 0. But Steve, talk about trying to walk it in. Oh, well, Alex Eager thought really did sort of half lose it, didn't he? The full credit to Hoggett in goal. He made life very uh, very awkward there for Eaglethorpe, who uh, did keep his head to a degree to lay it back for Griffiths. And really, that's the sort of goal that he would like to get back on the goal-scoring trail. Long way to go, Andy. Well, now it's uh, a test of Doncaster's uh, grit, really. That's offside. Uh, four marks ever oriented, keeping calm and steady. Uh, certainly it was constant pressure, apart from that corner on a Doncaster goal, and uh, Orient have not let themselves open at the back. It's been a steady uh, opening. And I think, really, that's got to build on that now and make sure they keep tight at the back, Andy. So long ball forward, looks to be a foul I thought there, perhaps from Hicks, nothing given. Channing will go for the Doncaster throw then. With Smith. Well they didn't really seem too flustered about conceding a goal Steve, it's a bit like water off a duck's back I suppose. Well as I said before the game, the players aren't just playing for now, they're playing for their uh, careers. And a lot of them know that they won't be around next year anyway at Doncaster. So, you know, there's people in the stands looking around, seeing what's going on and what's available, even at this stage of the season. 
we know that people come and watch the Orient players most weeks. So uh, they've got to keep their heads up and play for themselves. Throw taken into Moncrief. That's nicely laid back. There was a chance of the shot had that been laid off earlier. Clark's header. Smith with the volley clear. That was well held off by Tony Richards. Now there's a gap opening up here for Inglethorpe. Curls his pass towards Griffiths. Ling's made a good run, but uh, Griffiths' cross was a poor one. Well, Linger made a good run there of, what, 40, 50 yards. We had Naylor on the near side doing the over... Naylor on the, o on the uh, overlap on the near side, Eddie, was a good option as well. But uh, maybe the call didn't come from Dominic Naylor. And, uh, well, he's a good ball across to uh, Griffiths, but he's a sort of player you want in the box, really, isn't he? Finally the ball play forward very poorly and it'll be an Orient throw then. <laughs> Little flick on there. Scoop clear. Smith with a header and a foot there from Esdale. Moncrief goes for the one-two and almost gets it. It'll be a donkey to throw then. So Smith to take this one. Oh, it's not a bad try, but uh, well, it was in the end. In fact, it was so wide, it looked like it was on target. In fact, uh, it pretty much went straight uh, and uh, has gone for the throw. I won't put that one down, Andy. Well, we won't count that on the uh, statistics, Steve. <laughs> Griffiths didn't get the direction on his header. And that'll go for an Orient throw, will it? Yes, it will. And uh, finally, Orion get another throw, just down to our right as we look. That's nicely done by Clark. Header from Gore. Uh, Dobbins ball forward on offside this time. Moncrief again. Moncrief. Four, four times. If he gets off anymore, Steve, they, they may force him to ad abdicate, I think. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It's a foul, isn't it? 25 minutes gone. Free kick here for the home side. Well, uh, Jim Dobbing feeling that uh, Richards was making a back for himself, but uh, making a ladder. But uh, they're free in no doubts but to give this free kick. Smith. 
so he slings free kick. Oh, it's not away yet. Oh. That goes for the Orient throw off of Gore. So the uh, pressure being kept on here. Joseph. Now Hicks. Oh, so it's not a good pass. But it's found its man. Inglethorpe. Oh, that's too uh, speculative, that, from uh, Simon Clark. Joseph gives chase against Moncrief. And Moncrief comes out on top, apart from his pass. Hicks. Well, oh, there's a chase on here. And uh, A.D. Mike gets the first, not the fastest player I've ever seen in professional football, it must be said. That'll be an Orient throw, yes, the linesman. Oh, the book in here. Oh, he's lucky to... <laughs> well, uh, there was dissent by word or action. Well, that was certainly by action. There was venom in that dissent, wasn't there? You've got to blame the officials now for being so uncertain. Well, the linesman was closest, Steve, and... Uh, Oh, that was a poor clearance and this hesitation. Smith got in there. Well, the ball's bobbling around everywhere at the moment. Back it goes to Hoggith again. Well, uh, as Steve said earlier, I think having watched nearly half an hour of this, it's a matter of concentration and patience. And uh, if you start getting flustered thinking you've got to score a lot of goals, putting yourselves under pressure, then... Uh, Things can go drastically wrong. And at 1-0, it only takes uh, one good effort from Doncaster to share the spoils. So uh, Orient is to pace themselves, be patient, and the opening should come in the end. Well, uh, all due respects to the opposition, Steve, it's very much like a, a league versus non-league match. And uh, so often they get to half-time very tight. And in the second half, uh, th those openings... Those chances are, are suddenly converted, aren't they? It ends up being three or four nil. We already know for the media that Doncaster have had trouble fielding sides earlier in the season. They've had part-time players and even local pub team players turning out for them in the squad. So um, certainly fitness isn't up on the agenda at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's down to team spirit and trying to keep themselves going. <coughs> That's not a bad pass through the middle. Moncrief stopped by Joseph. Hicks. Well, that ran away from Hicks. It'll be a Doncaster throw. Now Sanders gets a cross in there. Oops, and there was half a chance perhaps. It's still there, and it's uh, back off of Moncrief, in fact. That was their best chance of the match. It was on target, and I think Steve Orrin were in trouble there. Well, certainly there's a lot of pace in that shot, Andy. We can't see where uh, high it was without rewinding that tape straight away, but uh, certainly it's good effort, as you say. This is Smith. Oops, missed just to bounce. Clark. Nilo. Oh. Nicely done to Richards. Being shadowed there by Warren. Oh. And Nilo's got away from his man. Oh. Let's go with a vicious drive, but it cannons back oh. out again. Pelliwell. Easy goal, easy goal. Hit the ball. Now then, Channing turns. Richards is offside. Half an hour gone, as Hicks knocks that one back out. This is Smith, and uh, that's not a bad ball, you know, in a space, and just needed a quicker reaction that from Griffiths, who holds his head and perhaps realised that uh, he was just a couple of seconds slow there. Well, that's a poor clearance. Hyde. Richards. Looks for support, finds it in the shape of Ling, nicely knocked back to Richards, who lets fly on a drive and it's smothered. 
at the second attempt by Hogan. Oh, I'm very impressed with Tony Richard so far. He's having a free roll there up the front. He's been all over the pitch up front there. And he's looking very sharp, Andy. Well played, Griffiths. Griffiths was fouled. And that's going to be a booking, I think. Well, no, the offside flag goes up. I thought the referee was pulling that back for descent there. Oops, there's a chance here for Doncaster. Still a chance. It's a cannon back there off of Naylor. It's not away yet. Another good drive. And this time from the foot of Dobbin, smothered by Hyde. And it's their first attempt on target. 32, 32 minutes gone. Now just a warning there to the home side. Oh, that was good. Well, the challenge from behind is penalised. <laughs> so Lee Warren with the free kick then just what a couple of yards or so inside that orient half let's play forward keeper should have this well they can only punch it but he was being impeded says the referee and uh, oh dear well that's been pulled back well i'll tell you what steve that's another classic case of over protecting the keepers isn't it he didn't have control over the situation he only got one hand to the ball, and, uh, you know, I think uh, that one could have been let go myself. Well, I think Orient was quite happy with the punch out. There was quite a bit of play on, and I was at Cambridge the other day, as you said earlier. And the same thing happened down the other end. It was, it was Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, high with a free kick. We can get things back underway. Ling him well. Hold up, hold up. Griffiths wants it. Sorry. Oh, that was a close call, I tell you. Because uh, Griffiths had checked and dropped back in, and I think that was very, very tight indeed. In fact, uh, Griffiths shakes his head in disbelief. That was a tight call. So, Hoggeth with the free kick Inglethorpe's header for Orion and uh, Richards uh, just guilty of watching there as Joseph flights it along Gore should be behind this indeed he is and it's a, a throw to Orion then with Justin Channing taken quickly into Richards Oops. a short pass but it's given away badly to Smith now it's drilled across too deep in fact Hold it but uh, the problem with Doncaster is when they do get the ball they're not holding on to it they're giving it away as soon as they uh, get the ball back into possession and that almost bounced through it could still bounce through finally cleared away A little push there <coughs> this is Nalo <coughs> oh. nicely done from Inglethorpe who was in danger of being took down there played it right across oh and snatched that snatched that there by Simon Clark who took a knock as well in the process no question of a foul being given of course but uh, Orion is yet Steve uh, failing other than the one occasion to turn this dominance into goals yeah, but say, uh, overall, they're controlling the game, and as you said, Andy, Doncaster themselves are finding out to put anything together. They're quite happy to just stem the tide best as they can and put the ball out of play and really clear whenever the danger comes at them, which is a heavy three or four seconds at the moment. <laughs> Orient would feel a lot better if they could find another one before the interval and going with a two-goal gap. They'd then be looking to finish the game within the first 10 minutes of the restart, but... Uh, 
There's a chance for Doncaster as they get a cross over there. Not a bad looking one. Cross shouldn't have come over and that should be clear. That scoop clear. Well, block, I say? That cross should have been blocked. Hawthorne puts it away. It'll be a orient throw then just inside the Doncaster half. Or just inside their own half in fact. Well, it was in, in, in the end, it was inside the Doncaster half, wasn't it? It's, uh, oh, that was given away badly. Smith with a ball forward. That's out of play. That'll be a Doncaster throw then. I'll tell you what, Steve... Uh, Joe Baker is sort of tailor-made for this, isn't he? You're right, Andy, and I'm pretty sure that must be something very much in Tommy Taylor's mind for the second half, certainly. We'll see how things unfold. I think Richards and Griffiths are working well up front, to be fair, though. Yeah, with a nifty little winger who's going to run straight at them. Uh, could really unsettle yeah. Doncaster. Another ball played into space. Whoa. Back it goes to Hoggett. <coughs> well, it's poor control by Monk. Moncrief and it's half a chance. Inglethorpe and Inglethorpe yeah. has done it! It may well have took a deflection. It loops away from Hoggett. But Orient get that all-important second goal. 39 minutes. 39 minutes gone. Inglethorpe will claim that one. Well, Andy, you say it was a deflection, but certainly he made that himself, didn't he? Excellent run. Not only that, it's an excellent off-the-ball running by Carl Griffiths that took the defender wide. Moncrief really was at fault for that losing possession as he did. Well, it was Moncrief's uh, fought that goal. Uh, some very poor control indeed on a pretty simple ball, which cost his side dearly. All marked to Smith though, wasn't it? That's a foul. A trip by Smith. Well, uh, I'm sure the Orient bench breathing a little easier now. As that one's played in there, it's just got to concentrate here and get that clear. Now Richards. Lost a quick ball there. Oh, Not a good header from Hawthorne. Pressure on still. More pressure. That's away by Joseph. Well played. Oops, oh, that yeah. was a rather unfortunate that for Ling. It rather span off of his well foot, played, but he did very well indeed to earn his side to throw. Smith. Nice layoff. Oh, that's one currently. That's never offside. There's no offside. It cannot be offside. That cannot be offside, Steve, because he didn't actually pass the ball. Uh, Griffiths was standing in an offside position. But Ling kept control there, and that was not offside, was it? No, I think if that was early last season when the rule changed, that would have been a penalty. As you say, Griffiths was not anywhere near play. It's given a penalty. Well, that's the right decision. It cannot be offside. That was uh, ridiculous. Uh, the linesman... Well, I can't conceive what the linesman was thinking, Steve, because well, the player had control of the ball. He hadn't passed it. Maybe the linesman was giving it out the technicality. The referee has the final say, as we all know. It's certainly a blatant penalty, and full marks to Martin Ling for giving him the chance. Well, let's uh, protest in vain as Dean Smith will attempt to make it 3-0 and possibly open the floodgates. Well, the linesman, I can't believe that decision. That was uh, ridiculous. But uh, nevertheless, the penalty is correct. Smith for three. Yeah! Yes, it is. A hand on it from Hoggett, but the venom in the shot took it into the back of the net. Smith makes it 3 0. 42 minutes gone. And Doncaster know it's another black away day. Well, you've got to have a bit of sympathy for Gary Hoggett, I think, the pace of the ball. Look, put it in the back of the net. It's a good save by the keeper, but he just couldn't keep it out. No, he hits a firm penalty, Smith. Oh, the whole city keeper found that out. He went through his arms. <laughs> there's another one, not there. A 
Slade into the gap for Richards. And really, Donkers are in danger of going to pieces. That's a good save from Hoggett. And possibly deserves that for his attempt on the penalty. 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, that's 11th attempt of which six are on target so far. But uh, I'm afraid Doncaster are in pieces at the moment. Naylor, let's run across, goes for another corner. So another corner with Naylor. That's a higher one. Once again, there was a it should have been a call. It brought that down, and he could have played it out. Instead of that, they snatched it and give the ball away again. And that's the only thing the manager can tell him at half time is when you've got possession, hold on to the thing. Don't get given the other way. But uh, this is Smith. Oh, that's taken away there just about by Micah's head, and it will be a throw to Orient down to our left. Two minutes left of this first half, which has suddenly opened up a goal from 1-0 to 3-0 in the space of uh, 180 seconds. That's too long. So an Orion throw then. Griffiths trying to lay that off. It's just not too far there by Inglethorpe. So here comes Smith. Ling, no, foul as well. Ling. Inside of Smith. Oh, that's a nicely down and this holes everywhere in that back four. Well, we have the problem here. It's not scoring goals, don't pass. I think they mean like Walter. Against. Away from home, letting 31 goals to four today. He's going to score So Micah just took too long and got himself in trouble. That's foul. It'll be a free kick. So Warren clears downfield. Oh, there's half a chance. Not away yet. This is Esdale. Played back to Smith. And Smith with a good turn of pace. That's a good challenge though there from Channing. So that's that's that is the 23 game. So that's for today's game. That's for today. Right, that's a good header out now. It's two against three in Doncaster's favour. But a great run being made by Richards in the middle, I can tell you, out of your picture. But it runs through there almost. This could still be Richards. Oh, he's missed it. Now he has him. 4-0. Doncaster have capitulated. Richards makes it four. In stoppage time at the end of this first half. Well, Richardson saw a big sigh of relief there. It was superbly set up there, wasn't he, really? And he should have put the first effort away. But give him four marks, seven, another crack, and Orient four, Doncaster nil. And a second half yet to come. We are now in stoppage time. Well, you have to say it. You don't want to tempt fate, but uh, these are the sort of games where records can be set to you. Uh, eight oh. nil... Uh, Rochdale and Colchester and that was a long long time ago I can tell you that was 1987 and uh, but no that was 1988 actually I'll get to tell you it right that's flicked on it's half a chance not away yet well I'll tell you what that was confidence wasn't it just as well Hyde was standing there thrown out to Griffiths 
That's Richards with the flick. Well, they all want to score at the moment, and that's uh, Tommy Taylor's only problem, discipline and shape. That's onside. Oh, he's missed it! And he knows it's a bad miss. That should have been five before the break. Bad miss, I think. Very bad miss, I'm afraid. Well, that would have been four goals in six minutes. That is the half-time whistle. It couldn't have come quick enough for Doncaster. They're in real trouble, Steve. For the half-time facts and figures, I'll do the best I can to uh, take you through this. All right, they have 12 attempts, of which eight were on target. They've gained six corners. Against Doncaster's two attempts, of which one was on target and one corner. The O's have conceded seven fouls to six from Doncaster. The O's offside on four occasions, the same as Doncaster. Been no bookings or... Uh, Send it off in the first half. The goals came as follows. Messer is on. I think uh, Sanders has gone and so too has uh, Helliwell, I think. So where we go in the second half? Doncaster had nothing now to play for except their pride. And uh, it was a very, very quiet Doncaster who came back out on the, uh, for the, on the pitch for the second half. There's Dobbin, puts that square. <laughs> well, it's the longest I can remember them having the ball, but they've given it away now. <laughs> Joseph's header. Now, Richards for Orion, but that'll be a Doncaster throw with... Uh, Esdale. John Ramsey, the other Doncaster Rovers substitute used. Long ball forward again. Chase on between Hawthorne and Griffiths. Oh, that should have just been put away for a throw by Hawthorne. But uh, that skims through to a very young goalkeeper. We've had conflicting reports, actually, uh, whether he's 15 or 18. And uh, he certainly looks older than... Uh, 15 from here and so they are a, a club in real real trouble oh that's uh, ran away it should run through here to smith richards inside one but uh, should be an easy one for the defender to deal with oh dear that left the keeper in all sorts of problems and headed away there by gore for the orient throw at the start of this second half Well, after letting in three goals in, what, six minutes at the end of the first half, they'll be uh, eager to avoid the same at the start of the second as that ball's loose. Hooked clear, though, by Warren. But uh, Orion, Steve, they'd have been told to just keep calm and keep their shape, weren't they? I'm pretty sure as you got your own, you've just been told to carry on the way they are. Nice and easy, and not easy, but nice and controlled, should I say, in full concentration required. Make sure not caught offside and nice and tight at the back. Well, the points are safe. There is no way that uh, Doncaster will score four goals in this match. That's for absolutely certain. As, uh, that's played forward. Now that's a loose ball, Joseph gives chase, so too does Hyde, Hyde out to Channing. Channing with a ball towards Ling, which isn't a bad pass at all, can Ling get on the end of this? He can. Oh, almost worked his way through, oh it's 5-0, Griffiths grabs his second. Some dreadful defending at the back, but a vicious shot into the roof of the net there from the foot of Carl Griffiths. 48 minutes gone, the start for the second half that uh, Doncaster didn't want, and that is four goals in nine playing minutes they've conceded. <laughs> well, Orient carry on as they mean to uh, finish. Five goals up and still got well, over 40 minutes left. Oh, that's badly given away, and... Uh, an appeal for offside, and this time it's given against uh, Richards. Oh, 
Hawthorne's free kick. Well, I can tell you, uh, Prince Moncrief abdicated at the half-time. He's been dethroned and replaced. That's uh, no real change. There's a lovely ball made through the middle there. Richards needs support. He's getting it now from Channing, but, uh, oh, my goodness me, he rocketed that pass, Justin Channing, away for the Donkers to throw then. The Saurian's biggest win for a long time as that races through towards Hoggett. And uh, we scored four up there, didn't we? Anyway, a four-one away win at Doncaster earlier in the season. Well, that should be the keepers. Indeed, it is. Foul there, arm up on uh, Gary Messer. Hard for these two subs to come on, of course, already four goals down and uh, the game lost. That's a bit neater by Doncaster. Esdale puts it out wide. Picked up now by Ramsey. Up to Dobbin. Well, given away at the vital moment. Oops, and uh, given away too by Smith. Dobbin's ball. Up to the substitute. In, now, can he get the uh, ball across? He can. Oh, there's a right mix-up in that Owen defence there for a second. Finally, brought out there by the foot of Ling. Now, a break could be on. No offside. Played on in the middle by some despicable marking. But that was a good challenge. But uh, AD Mike was uh, playing everybody on side. What was he thinking of? All he had to do was step up in line with the other three and he held back there on his own playing everybody on that's uh yeah. poor old Danny Bagaro he's uh, seen better days in management hasn't he he's uh, proved himself at uh, Rochdale and uh, Stockport I wouldn't get involved if I was an Orient player because uh, the game is won and uh if, uh, if Donkers try to get somebody dismissed, then uh, it'll only go uh, from bad to worse. And if I was an Orient player, I'd stay well away from that. It's a game that you've won. You don't need to even get in any trouble at all. Yellow card. <laughs> yep, and a yellow card for Inglethorpe. So a yellow card for uh, Esdale. And Inglethorpe at the start of the second half. So Hicks with the free kick then. Flooded high. Channing. Oh, it's badly given away again. Hicks. Back to his keeper. Foul there by uh, Gore. Well, I expect uh, the home fans would like to be playing Doncaster every week. <laughs> no, that's right. 
I think Doncaster, unfortunately, get used to becoming a punch bag for teams, but um, must be very demoralising for them. But the youngsters in particular will have to uh, learn from this bad season they're going through if they're going to continue in football, certainly. Well, the main uh, worry for any side playing them at the moment is uh, will they fulfil their fixtures? And that is a real possibility, of course. Uh, if they don't fulfil their fixtures, any results will be scrubbed. And uh, oh. <laughs> We hope they will. Throw taken quickly to Joseph. Picks ball forward up towards Richards. Good play. Smith. Oh, it's run kindly. This could be number six. Yes, it is. It's a hat trick. A hat trick for Carl Griffiths. Four minutes gone, it's 6-0 already, and Orion are looking towards that record. Two to equal it, three to beat it. Well, I can tell you, 54 minutes gone. That's 15 minutes and five goals in playing terms. And uh, I tell you what, Steve, that's not far short of getting 11 supporters out of the crowd to go and play, is it? That's right. That's right. At least the fans would get the ball out of into touch, wouldn't they? No, it's a corner. Well, a corner. They're second of the match. The crowd's not very quiet, are they? <laughs> Well, the crowd's quiet and... Uh, They're waiting for more, aren't they? That's what it is. I think most of them know about the record. The corner comes over. Ooh, it's a dangerous it. looking one. <coughs> it's not away yet. Cannon's back away there from Ramsey. There'll be a goal kick. Well, substitution coming up here. Jason Harris is going to come on. And Griffiths goes off. Well, he's done his job. A hat trick. Well, a nice situation for Harris to come into. No pressure at all. I think uh, Joe Baker, Steve, uh, would absolutely uh, run Doncaster ragged. And... Uh, not that the uh, lads on the field aren't doing that already, but I think uh, Baker would just be too much for them to handle. Well, Harris is going to be a worry straight away. There was an unknown quantity to him. Was he Engel four. Three. Little burst of pace. Just lost control of that ball, though. Now, Dobbin. It's rather given away. Smith got half a touch to that. Offside. <laughs> Ling. Oh. Channing, enjoying himself at the moment. This is Ling again, taking over. That's too short for Harris. A little foot in was enough. Played up towards Smith. Now Ling gets a cross in there and Harris got a touch and it's still Harris. Oh, and it's flicked just wide by the head of Richards. Could have well been seven. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, certainly fireworks here in the second half. Or if anything, could turn the screw even more than they were in the first half. Hoggis clearance, Harris for Orion, was he caught there? No, says the referee. That's a good run from Ling, beautiful foot, control. Richards with a chance, and it's seven. Okay, 
The orders were laid on by Ling. The main course delivered by Richards. It's 7-0. And they're getting ready for the after eight minutes. <laughs> well, I'm still the petty point at the moment. 58 minutes gone, Andy. <laughs> still, still over half an hour to go. And concentration is still required. Well, it is a matter of uh, how many now. One goal to equal the record. And you've got to fancy that they're going to do it. Because, uh, without doubt, this is the worst professional football side I've ever seen. Ever, ever seen. Uh, in my life, Steve, and that's all due respect to people. It's an embarrassment to professional footballers. In fact, uh, it's an embarrassment for half the Vauxhall Conference to see uh, a side this poor in Football League, isn't it? Eddie, you cannot blame the players wearing the yellow shirts today at Doncaster, can you? You can blame the set-up and everything else involved at Doncaster Rovers. Yep. Okay. Well, sorry for the players. You know, the personal guys, they're professionals, and they've been employed by a club that really isn't looking after them. <laughs> well, off they, and... Uh, had a good day, and it? Orient had a very good day, but this is uh, Orient having a, not a very, no, it's a sort of a, uh, it's not a great sort of day, but a, a, a pretty good day against a, an day. absolutely abysmal side. <laughs> but uh, it is uh, a question, as Steve said, of discipline yeah. and shape, and if you do that, the uh, goals will look after themselves, you feel. If they all start trying to score a la Sunday morning, uh, yeah. that's when your problems arise. Well, it's been a few years since we heard that, isn't it, Andy? Well, it'll be, uh, it's nine years since we heard that chant of We Want Eight. <laughs> well, uh, it's to pull forward. Well, I can, uh, Say that's going out of play. No, it's not. It stayed in. But can I uh, ask you if you remember who the Colchester manager was, Steve, who was sacked on the Monday after that 8-0 uh, win? Was it Cyril Lee? I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh! Walker. Mike Walker. It was Mike Walker. I think that was right. Who went on to uh, better things with Norris, didn't he? And, uh, A lot of space here for Richards. Oh, and Jason Harris could be through. Smothered this time by Hoggett. And the only player you would absolve from uh, any criticism in this match is Gary Hoggett. I think he's playing really well. He really is. And hopefully he's not going to let his, this performance affect his confidence because I think he really has saved at least half a dozen other uh, goals here today, Andy. Oh, sir, most certainly, Steve, yes. Hoggeth uh, absolved of any blame, actually. Even a penalty, you almost, Dave. But, uh, but for him, it would have been double figures already. That's almost certain. Smith. Yeah, the truth be told, it's... Uh, it must be hard for them out there, the Doncaster players. Uh, not, they're really not up to the standard required, any of them. This is Pemberton. <coughs> oh, that's a corner, is it? No, goal kick given. And, uh, the linesman the, the Lions were originally pointed for a corner. Substitution coming up. So a substitution coming up, and uh, I, I think uh, Richards can get enough. You're not going to get your hat trick today. Well, Richards goes off. Baker comes on, and that's a, a wise choice, I think, Steve, by Tommy Taylor. And I think this is going to prove uh, two or three goals worth of substitution. I'm going to stick my neck out here. Well, I hope you're right. Certainly, anyway, I think pace now is the uh, answer. Weary leg, especially it's bad enough being one nil down. You know, and you'll be end overwhelmed, but it'll be seven nil down really, your legs are gonna feel really downtrodden. Well uh, these goals of course Steve, it could be the difference between a playoff place or not. So uh, I do remember I always uh, use this uh, 
example but um, Spurs beat Bristol 9-0 you may remember when they were back in the second division days and uh, they went up on goal difference from uh, Brighton oh that's a half a chance and uh, they went up by I think two goals difference Ooh. so how important that 9-0 turned out to be as that's over hit that'll be uh, through the poor hide The only problem, uh, that's just runs through here. This is Baker, but a chance to make it eight. And he has! It's equal the record! The record is equal. It's 8-0. Baker, with his first touch, is on the score sheet. 64 minutes. 64 minutes gone. It's 8-0. A goal every eight minutes, of course. 8-8 eight, eight to 64, but uh, it hasn't worked out like that. I can tell you that seven goals have been scored in 25 minutes of playing time. Um, well, one more for the record. Two more for national headlines. <laughs> As uh, this is picked up by Hawthorne. Forward by Esdale. Smith Smith again but he got a cross in there it's not a bad looking one but it's held from Hyde and a quick throw out to towards Channing it went out of play it'll be a donkers to throw well, that's an unfortunate ball played out by Hyde. The idea was right, but there's a bit too much pace on it there for Channing. But Orient still have a, a great chance here of breaking records. Yeah. That's probably given away. Hicks. So uh, acres of time left for Orient, Doncaster to have a mountain ahead of them, not only in today's game, but the uh, remainder of the season, which is only just halfway through. Week after week it's been like this, so uh, Doncaster really, uh, it's nothing new to them unfortunately, certainly. Well this is Esdale, chips it back in there for Ramsey. Ramsey just overhit his pass. They'll go away. Police down a play by Inglethorpe. Good to say that. I will tell you, Pritchard. So headed forward, back it comes from the head of Clark. Chipped over the top again to the overworked Hawthorne. And he puts it away for a throw. And I don't think the Doncaster fans will want to give that ball back. <laughs> I think that proved the point. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic Naylor. Gives the ball back to him, and you've got to appreciate the humour in that. It's on video, probably. <laughs> well... well... That's one of the funniest moments you'll see, but uh, perhaps not just to can grab something here. That's not a bad try, and it's just wide of the target, their best shot of the match. Well, who said humour's dead in football? That was uh, <laughs> brilliant stuff. Let's only hope that the Nationwide Highlights show that in their magazine during the week. It might even be at the beginning of the programme. Well, that's the uh, best bit of skill we've seen from anyone to do anyone? with Doncaster. <laughs> uh, anyone, that ball control down here. 
<laughs> he probably follows them around, Steve. It's his season's party, but it's every match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rent a crowd, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll bump up the fan who's having a ball. Here we go. Foul backing in there on uh, Mark Hawthorne. This is Channing. Rather given away though to Smith. He gets the return and uh, just a quiet spell this from uh, Orient. Time on their side of course for the record which is what they're aiming for now. The results uh, beyond any conceivable doubt. You've probably got more chance of a nuclear bomb landing on the pit. Well let's hope uh, Orient's floodlights uh, are, <laughs> have got good fuses in Steve. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're trying to pin it down onto the TV cameras, taking all the power out of the supply, aren't they? Yeah, well, you could imagine that they gave the matches a replay. <laughs> Which would be rather unfortunate, to say the least. Yes, it would. <laughs> Simpson's picking up. Well, uh, Orient getting ready to make another substitution. There's a hurried clearance there from Hawthorne. There'll be another Orient throw down to our right. Uh, perhaps Orient will use this moment. Volleyed across there. Volleyed clear. Now, looked to be a push perhaps from uh, Hicks. Well, Alex Singlethorpe will be coming off and uh, Colin Simpson coming on. As soon as the uh, ball is dead. Not yet. She's Ling. Looking for a run, but uh, poor pass there from Ling this time. Hawthorne steers it back to Hoggeth again. So it'll be Alex Ingerthorpe coming off, yes, as soon as the uh, ball is out of play. There's a chance down the flank. There's Naylor. Pulls that across. It could still run back. Just too short that for Channing. Still Simpson waits patiently on the touchline as it's picked up here by Pemberton. There's Dale. Hawthorne again. Yep, Foul. Correct. And a chance now, perhaps. No, they're going to wait a few seconds on that Orient bench. And the Doncaster supporters applaud the fact they have a free kick. It's like a graveyard in here today. I think the crowd actually shocked at yeah. quite how severe Doncaster's yeah. problems are. They knew they weren't very good, but... Uh, I think this has stunned people because uh, Hendon, who weren't uh, well, ISIS League, were in fact a better organised side than this. Long shot, but uh, that's out of the ground, I feel. Oh, it's the BMW got one of them. Strength of the car park. And I will make a substitution. Off goes Inglethorpe. On comes Simpson. With a great chance for Colin Simpson here to... Uh Add to his uh, tally. They were looking to impress and certainly a bit of aerial power now that uh, maybe has gone astray since Griffiths and uh, Richards went off. So uh, the Orient have got the pace, they've got the man in the middle now. Let's see if they can add to their total. So uh, Hoggeth again. One more, one more. Foul by uh, Hicks. Well, will Orient find that elusive ninth goal? That's uh, all gone a little quiet. They're waiting for it, I think. It could be all we're pitching base you now. The stewards are getting ready for it. Oh, oh, that's a ball through. That could be a chance here. That's a good challenge from Hicks. Oops. Corner given. 
So their third corner of the match. Although they're gamely playing on, although I suppose they've got little choice. They've got 45 minutes either way, but... Uh, Channing volleys clear at the expense of a throw midway inside their own half. They can't even go to the woods of a revolver with one bullet, can they, Andy? Well, this is again the straight line. and uh, <laughs> We'll put our heads together. It'll yeah. be the first time this afternoon they have, because uh, they're all doing their own thing out there. Yeah. Oops, that's a chance. That's a goal, is it? Oh! No, he's put it wide. A real chance. Oh, oh he played still the breath for a moment there, didn't they? <laughs> oh, he has all have to score nine, but keep the clean sheet. They beat all the shot 9-2 many years ago, didn't they? They did indeed. And it's one more for the record. That's well, not a good clearance by uh, Hyde. But uh, Baker actually did well to keep that in. Baker again. Inside by Smith. Oh, I didn't see a lot wrong in that, but uh, as Steve's saying, the original challenge is the one that's been penalised. I don't think many fans understand that. Well, it's still 75 minutes gone, 15 to go. 15 minutes to go. This uh, second half racing away from us. and have 15 minutes to find the back of the rover of the uh, Doncaster Rovers net. Whatever they've done at the moment, if they keep a clean sheet, they've equaled it. Simpson's header, no real direction. Oh, it's not bad trying, in fact. A good save there from Hyde. The first real test for Paul Hyde this afternoon and that was creeping in so another corner I wonder how many fans leave this ground early <laughs> <laughs> better let him pick the win at the moment Another cross coming in. Well, uh, Jason Harris didn't have the awareness around him there that he had that much space. And Orient just uh, stepping off the gas at the moment. But uh, they'll get the throw, a chance to uh, reform. The crowd really ought to make Orient aware that maybe most of the players don't know that a record is 9-0 to, to achieve. That's drilled across, picked up on the far side by Ling. Up to Naylor. Naylor's got Mikey right with him. And still Naylor. Corner given. Oh, it's first corner of the second half. First corner of the second half. Amazingly enough. So Ling will take this one. Clark got there but got his angles all wrong. So Hoggett. That was taken very quickly, and there's a chance here for Rovers. Good keeping that from Hyde. That's uh, fallen off and uh, given away badly, though. Back to Hyde again. 
just over 10 minutes left. Just coming up to the uh, 80th minute of this match. Up towards Simpson. I don't think he'll get to that one. No, he won't. But Orient really do need to try and uh, step it up. It's very hard for them. They, they really know that uh, they're in a, a game that no one here can they lose. And really, results-wise, is a remarkable result. But they do need one more, really, for the record books. 8-0 is, uh, is level in the record score in a match. Highest score, just it was 9-2, but an eight-goal difference is, is the record so far. This is uh, Channing inside Simpson. Left for Baker, and a gap's opened up for Baker. Oh, that's not a bad try from Harris. Couldn't get the purchase on the header. Six efforts in the second half on target, and four of those resulted in goals. And uh, Doncaster keeping possession here. This is uh, Warren. Oh, dear. But, uh, oh, it's kept in. Inside it comes again. This is Dobbin. Trying to make room for a cross. Yeah, the line from touch that time. Naylor. We'll burst through here from Mikey and uh, no, Orient no. now with a chance to switch it. This is Smith. Baker. That's asking a lot. And a keeper out quickly. Very scrappy now. Channing. Up to Simpson. Baker. That's not a bad looking cross, but no one in there for Orient. And an easy one in the end for Hoggett. Eight minutes to go. And uh, you don't get many opportunities to break records. This is a real one. Lost control. <laughs> Messo with the ball back there to Esdell. Link. Simpson nicely done. That's beautifully done off the ball there from Baker. Harris is inside and free. Oh, he's missed it. That was a terrible miss from Harris. Oh! Really was a terrible miss from Jason Harris. This is Hicks. That's Harris. Can he finish this time? Oh no, he can't. Channing, can he do something? He's chipped it in, but it's struthered there from Hoggett. Six minutes to go. Channing. 
Down the line. Baker gives chase. Can he get to this one? Gore puts it away. So an Orient throw. Simpson. He can't find a way through. Now it's out to Naylor. The deep cross. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, straight to the keeper. It's not going to happen at the moment, is it? It seems as if uh, Doncaster will uh, nestle with Crystal Palace and uh, Rochdale and Colchester uh, as members of the uh, undesirable 8 nil club. But, um, and there's a chance to make it 8-1. Oh. oh, there was nothing wrong with that. There was nothing wrong with that at all. That was a good check. Good shoulder to shoulder. Nothing wrong at all. But, uh... Donkista could uh, wreck, the, uh, wreck the record here with a goal. And it's all this match is about now. Can Orion... Break the record or not. They're running out of time. Oh, that was badly given away. Not the place to do it. That's out of play. Free kick there. Naylor's header. Simpson, can he turn? Naylor, oh, he's drilled that one wide. Time now running out. Four minutes left. So uh, Hoggeth clears, good call and a good jump and a good knock on to Simpson dived in there, it's picked up by Ramsey. Oh, that was a trip. Need this one. Back door. Nice step inside. Over it comes. This is Dobbin. That's up to Baker. Oh boy. Channing up to Harris. Harris should let this run. Needs Simpson to cut inside. Harris has got the pace. Has he got the ball to finish? No, he hasn't. Smith. That's broken away. This is Pemberton, left now for Dobbin. Just two and a half minutes left on the clock, and it looks as if uh, the record will only be equal today. And we say only, of course, uh, it's difficult to score that many goals, no matter how bad the uh, opposition is. Downfield by Hyde. Picked up now by Smith for Doncaster. Oh, he hasn't scored over 20 minutes. This is Baker. Smith.
volley forward. Smith. One half minute. 90 seconds left on the clock and it looks as if Doncaster are going to survive this. Picked up now by Warren. Was a foul, was it? No, and that's surprising. Well, anywhere will do. And there's a lot of space over here for Pemberton. He cuts inside and uh, his shot's a poor one. So Hyde, as we enter the last minute. Well, they've had opportunities, Steve, haven't they? And they missed them all. Yeah, there's been some bad misses actually in the second half, really. But uh, well, no one's going to complain today, certainly. I think it's uh, obviously mentally hard for the players to keep going 100% uh, when the uh, the match is uh, such a massacre. Corner ball. Well, the whistle's blown. Orion beaten by the clock, 8-0. They've equaled the record, but it was there to be beaten, it must be said. Steve Jenkins, the final facts and figures. Thank you, Andy. Orion had 22 attempts of which 14 were on target. They had eight corners. Doncaster had seven on attempts of which two were on target. They gained four corners. The goals for Orient, Griffiths 20 minutes, Inglethorpe 39, Smith 42 penalty, Richards 45. Second half, Griffiths 48, Griffiths 54, Richards 58 and Baker 64. Orient considered 15 fouls to 10 from Doncaster. Orient offside on five occasions to five from Doncaster. Two bookings, Inglethorpe and SDL, both from 52 minutes. The final score here, uh, the history equal in occasion is Leighton Orient 8, Doncaster Rovers 0. Thank you and goodbye.